Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. Uh, yes, it's been a while since I played the game. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I came across pneumonia, and it took quite a bit out of me, and I'm just starting to get back into it, but uh, just checking things out here, and we seem to be, have a, be having a bit of a steam issue. Uh, so it might be a good time to utilize the power that we're generating, and take on the developer's suggestion about using Steam for everything. So what I'm going to do is I've already checked, I've made one of them to see the size of it is uh, make a whole bunch of electric aluminum electric engines. And what these are is uh, they just replace the steam engines that are over here, use power to generate kinetic energy instead of steam. And that way the steam should be able to produce more power for the turbines. And shows to keep production going because uh, this these washers need to keep running to create the wastewater to produce clay. Uh, currently it is making clay. I've got it set to just make bricks right now because I want to do a little bit of building probably in the next episode. Uh, I'll go in here and I'll show you what I mean. Because uh, we can make, uh, not necessarily the pottery and stuff like that, but we can make ceramic roofs. Now, I want to actually do some building and actually make a warehouse around this place. And I can make a big warehouse. And as you see, I've been checking out the... the the pallet you'll say and this is uh, basically all reinforced concrete except for this this is the regular concrete uh, and to make reinforced concrete basically I think all I have to do is just run plates so, hang on here uh, plates in with everything else in the mixer and that gets reinforced concrete and then I can start making this stuff uh, the developer also did add a bit of an easy recipe. As you can see, I have some on me already. I was thinking about going with the bricks for the walls. And then for the floor... The floor, I was almost thinking the small some concrete tiles. But we're not going to do that in this, ep that ep this episode. We're going to do it in the next one because as you saw, that turbine stopped. So we're having steam issues. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on things over there. And everything's going to as fast as it can. I might have to take the top two coke ovens out just because they're not being fully maintained. But anyways, uh, let's start going. Let's uh, see what we actually need here for for motors. Now, I don't think there's a, an electric version of the, the hammer that I know of. Uh, would that be the electric version? No, it's not. I thought there was an electric version of the, the press. I could be wrong. I'm not too sure. I will also start upgrading maybe the boiler furnaces over to electric. I'm not too sure. But anyways, we're going to replace all the steam engines with electric. So I need one. Uh, let's see here. Two, three, four, four for each line. So it'll make 16. Uh, they're, I wouldn't say too expensive to make, really. Uh, we need 14 coils, three plates, and one component. Uh, I was trying to sprint for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, fortunately, we have a lot of this stuff in here. What would be nice is if we could, like, instead of being, like, Taking the whole thing out, we could do one stack at a time. Make it a little bit easier. I'm sure there's a way to do it, I just don't know how. Anyway, uh, let's go upstairs to get some aluminum. Go all the way up here. I hate having something in my hand, I don't know why. Uh, let's see, oh yeah. So I'll go to grab some of this. I got, do have to make a whole bunch of wire too. Uh, I've only got 10 of them on me. Yeah. Be nice if there was a way to take a certain number, right? Alright, now what are we doing for motors? 16. That'll do. Excessive, but it will do. I know. Anyway, down we go, and we need wire. Wire was. I'm not forgetting all my recipes here. Coils, so I need more components. Actually, do I have any on me? No, I don't. Okay, uh, copper, 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 copper. I may also end up getting everything from the, these setups being set to a centralized warehouse, so that I have everything like on a sh on shelves in a warehouse in a certain location, so, so I'm not running here for copper over there for iron upstairs for aluminum. 
Uh, okay, so we have that. Uh, a wire. Well, uh, see how much wire I can actually make with that. That should be enough. I might actually have some over in the chest here. Uh, I also might try to move a few things around, like uh, have all this, this steam and power over in this area. I may end up moving these two lines. I'm not too sure. And another thing I've been doing too, and I actually forgot about this, is in here, I'm making a whole bunch of glass panes. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to make windows, which are uh, somewhere in here. There we go. With a window, and I want to build a big. I want to build a greenhouse actually around this entire area, and I'll probably go with some steel truss going around for aesthetic purposes. But I have a whole bunch of sand running through, so it's going to be good for a while. And uh, I was downstairs trying to figure out what this furnace was for, but now I realize what it was for. Anyway, uh, wire is still crafting, so it's uh, the motors are still crafting too. Okay. Uh, what else can we do? Let's uh, let's take the chance here. Let's actually get rid of the top coke ovens here, just because I did get them, did I not? Uh, is it still up top? Where's that coke oven? If that was a coke oven, where would I be? Oh, it is in my inventory. Yeah. I didn't see it. Alright, so we got that. Also take the pipe too. I'm gonna need it eventually. Get rid of the little floating nub there. The reason why I'm doing this is because there's not quite enough coming out of the system to actually keep them all going, so there's always like one or two that aren't actually being being used, so to speak. So we do it this way and just try to keep everything Learn a little bit more, and I should have taken my jetpack off the bar. Huh. Anyway, let's go and grab this, and then we'll give that some time to sort itself out. In the meantime, motors are almost done. I do have to pick up some more copper eventually. Uh, let's see here, what am I doing? Okay, there's no motors there. We do have one on the washer, but we'll get rid of that. Uh, I'm actually going to do this off camera. I'm going to take all the steam engines out and the steam lines going to them, and I'll bring you back when everything's ready to go. Okay, I'm back. I actually forgot I had a, a few more I had to make for the, the clay production. So I'm going to make a few more here. Uh, clearly missing something else. I've got enough of those. Oh, I need a lot of wire. That's why. Okay, and then I uh, had a bit of an issue where I uh, crossed my wastewater and steam lines again. Uh, it's not the first time. Not going to be the last either. Really should color code, color code everything. Another thing I want to try to do too is eventually, maybe this episode is uh, look at the compressor. Start using compressed air instead of steam. And see how that goes. Yeah, another H should be good. Alright, so these are actually fairly small, which is good. And uh, the only stack... I want to do stack 17. Okay, so where did I have them all? Oh, I have one over here I still got to take out. Don't need that one there. I'll get rid of that pipe. And... And... Just like so. So as you can see, the kinetics there. And then all other points are powered in. It appears to be connected. Uh, what we'll do is actually make sure it's actually working. I'm actually going to leave the wire just exposed like this. Just because. Oh. Not always the easiest to build sometimes. Okay, that's a heavy duty wire. And. Oh, you're working. That's good to know. Cool. Alright, well, uh, that's that. So now I'm going to get the rest of them set up and get some wiring in, and I'll bring you back when that's all done. Okay, so far I have everything hooked up. Uh, so far everything is working. Uh, even up here on the aluminum stage here. Uh, like I said, I was having the, still having some wastewater issues, so I had to get the, 
take out the, uh, the hammers and put them back in, but now you can see we're starting to have steam issues again. And it's not about the steam, it's about the, the fuel. And the coke's just not getting to it fast enough. So, I think we might actually have to make a couple of aluminum furnaces. Might go ahead and give these a shot and see how well they do. And then, uh, that means I actually get rid of all this stuff here. Since we're not going to need it anymore, because we're not going to be dealing with ash or coke dust over here anymore. I'll just get the furnaces out while we're at it. And now I have a big giant hole to walk into. Uh, so I will have to deal with that. Oh, I like that. Little burn marks on the textures there. Okay. So now, which way does the heat go come out? I'm assuming from the top. Uh trying to actually see the top of the block there. Okay, the top. Now what side does the power come in? Okay, that side. And what I'll do is make sure to put them in the right spot. Actually underneath the boilers. And hopefully this should uh, solve our steam issues. Uh, a lot of the machines are off to steam now, but I'm still having steam issues. So we'll see what happens. All right. Now all I gotta do is grab some more wire. Oh, it's it's already there. Ha ha ha. Okay, you there, you there. Uh, you won't be going through there. I need a line, so just do it like that, and we should be able to connect somewhere here if I can get out of here somehow, some way. Oof. A lot of smoke for nothing. Hmm. I am stuck. I know what I'm going to do. Let's do this the smart way. Now I can get out. Not a bit of an excessive jump to get out. But it works. Okay. Wire. Yes. There. Now we can actually just come right over here. Perfect. And this actually fills up the hole so I don't fall into it. So these are generating heat. So the boilers should keep going. And for what I've seen, the power is maintaining. Now, why are you not spinning? Oh, I wonder if... Uh, you know what? What do I need for those? I need... I just need more copper. We'll make a couple more because I got those... Ooh. <laughs> we hit a snag already. Run out of power. Awesome. But I was going to say, there's the boilers down here. And I think they're full of ash. I think that's why they stopped. Uh, let's see if I can get in here somewhere. But not going to get in that way. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, my basement is a mess. And there we go, full ash. Now that should get everything running. Actually, that's what I was going to do. I was going to make two more furnaces. So I need more copper. Uh, let me get those wired up and I'll be right back. Yeah, I knew what I was doing before I did that. I knew it wasn't going to work and it didn't work. So we're actually going to utilize what's left of this creosote. Why is that going down so fast? Hmm. That's a shame, I was going to actually use that instead. Well... I guess I'll have to get two two boilers back on there then. So, let me see here. What can I do? See, I got the other two on here on power, but yeah, uh, power's no good. But I can put those two back on, because they're still technically connected. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And everything seems to be okay, like the turbines are continually running, but we're not really getting too much of a surplus of power. Actually, we are sort of, and that's only because I got the, the clay production going again. Uh, Steam-wise, we seem to be okay. I think i almost be tempted to put another turbine down if I really need to, and I might even try that. Let's do that. Let's, uh, what am I missing here? Uh, aluminum plates. Let's go upstairs. I'm making a turbine just to see if we can generate some more power. Uh, actually, that was another one I was thinking about too. Was 
uh, aluminum multi-tool robot. And that's just because, uh, from what I've seen, or from what I've read, apparently it actually has a uh, uh, higher range. It does, from what I've, apparently it does like a 7x7, seven seven, but I don't know if the conveyors will actually hold up to it. Uh, so I need a copper multi-tool. What do I need for that? I'll just grab a whole bunch of copper. I got ingots over here somewhere. Still having steam problems, which, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. I uh, ended up putting two of the stone, uh, stone furnaces back in. They are doing okay, but we're not generating quite enough power, so I don't know if I should go back to all these or what. Uh, the creosote is still sort of holding up. I don't know if we've hit the small tanks yet or not. We have. So that's going to be an issue. Now, what I can do... Uh, I'm wondering about the st steam turbines. I think we can make that in this tier. Can we not? Or is that stainless? I think that's stainless, isn't it? Yeah, the gas turbines. Because with that, I can use a creosote, I do believe. A creosote give me 16. It's actually really good, and I think... Uh, I'm not sure, but I think the generators just generate power depending on how much they actually get. Or is it only going to be one second? I don't know. I'm not too sure. But anyways, uh, I was rambling. What was I doing? Uh, let me check with the recording time here. Hang on. Okay, well, I think it was a, a coke dust problem, but uh, I fed up the furnaces and kept them just to keep them going while it backlogs, and we'll see how it goes. But let's just for the sake of it, let's get another turbine down, another generator, and see see if we can actually generate some more power here. See if we have enough steam for it. Because if I can get enough power going, I might be able to get another boiler going, which can get us more steam. Okay, the generators are running. Or the turbines. Uh, let's see, what did it make already? Oh, nothing, because it still has to make the first one. Okay, we'll do this. Uh, the only other thing, other thing I could possibly think of is maybe it's got something to do with... Uh, hmm. Uh, oh, the, the copper pipes. Maybe they're not being able to transfer enough steam, but it almost looks like maybe we're not getting enough in. I don't know. See if this works. It might, it might not. I know I'm basically ask, asking for power from nothing, but you can, you can drain, can't you? So let's see what that does. All five are running, that's a good sign. Now it's a matter of the steam keeping up. Okay, good, that one's max pressure. And this one's having trouble getting power. Why? That's not what I'm trying to get. I'm trying on the block itself. Yes. Still need more power. Wow. They're running though. Well, uh, let's build another one. Let me get uh, two more built and I'll be right back. Well, I think that did it. We're actually getting a surplus power here. It's fluctuating, but it's getting higher and higher. That's good. So that means we have enough steam to produce this, which means we, these keep running. We have enough power to keep the steam going. That's good. And then what I'll probably do is I'll keep an eye on this situation here for now. I will have to manually take the dust out. And as you can see, that's actually going down. definitely conveyor issue down below and trying to figure out that mess will be fun because I got wire on my way get this way out I love the, the sneaky music as I'm going down to the basement okay what can we actually do here to improve this situation because it's coming up this one right here that's the problem 
That's the one supplying that. Maybe it's just a, a supply issue. Or maybe it's burning it faster than it can be, be, be produced. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the furnace. Yeah, it's just... I don't think it's enough. For two furnaces, anyways. If I can generate enough power... Let's actually check something here. I know I'm rambling, I'm not doing much here, but I'm trying to figure out a power situation here. And uh, I know there's others that are struggling too. There's uh, definitely a fine balance. Oh, good. Batteries are filling up. Which means I might actually be able to put another furnace down, or electric furnace. And that way, I can get a proper supply of the coke dust and not have to worry about anything. Uh, let's take this one out, I think. Okay, and then uh, I need the electric furnace again. If I had a spot on my hotbar. Okay, back in the hole we go. And... Yeah. I was getting confused by the, the steam icon. Now hopefully, that power holds up. See how we're doing here. That drained it off the quick. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to go back to that. And uh, I think with that, we should be good. For now, anyways. And then uh, probably next episode. Uh, Maybe we'll do some building, and then we'll start working into our way into stainless. Actually, there's one other thing I want to do before we end this is, uh, well, yeah, maybe we'll start getting some, hang on, hang on, concentrating here. That's not going to hold up either. I'll have to figure that out off camera. But, uh, yeah, uh, reinforced concrete, get that being produced. And all that really is a matter of doing is piping steel plates from here over to the other end. And I think just because... Uh, we'll have to make some more. Nah, we'll use those. I was going to make some uh, normal conveyors. But I need a couple of robots, which means I need... I'll take a few more of those. And a whole bunch more of those. And I gotta admit, it's definitely a lot quieter without those steam engines running. We're sustaining. That's about all I can say. Uh, I need a couple of robots. I'm sure I have some in a chest somewhere. I just don't feel like going on hunting them down. Alright, so grab the robots, we will grab some conveyor junctions. So I want to go all the way over to here. Uh, they got to be placed into this machine somehow, but I got a motor in my way. I have a shelf as well. Uh, hmm. Actually, that could work. Let's try something different here. Alright, so I'll place a robot here. We'll see if we can actually use this conveyor line for it. For it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need another block here. Where am I coming from? Coming from here. Okay, then we'll do it this way then. Uh, I never did actually check to see what the block length on these was. Like the distance. That should work. Sure, we'll zigzag it. Why not? Okay, so out on yellow, out on pink, uh, out on yellow, 
Out on pink. Out on pink. And then we just stick a robot here. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, what's going on here? Do I actually have to set in on yellow? I do. Okay. So that means I'm going to have to set this guy to uh, output on yellow as well. Now, for some reason this thing got filled up with uh, lime cement dust. So I'm going to unlock you. Take you out. I don't know where that aluminum came from. And I gotta get some clay in here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me uh, take care of this. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. Uh, didn't take too long, but uh, yeah, they are sharing the conveyors, so that's a, a good thing. The only thing is, though, is now this guy's got no way to take it out. And unfortunately, I really don't want to have to do this, but yeah, and I didn't even pick up the shelf. Ha ha ha. Uh, it's not going to let me pick it up. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing I got this. Maybe I can pick it up the shelf? No. Of course not. Or did I? Yeah, I did. Ooh, cool. Thank you. Alright. And that'll be reinforced concrete. So, now we have a use for steel plates. And, uh... Yeah, the batteries aren't charging. Barely fluctuating. Uh, we might have to look at another power source. I'm a little worried about the creosote situation. It might start dropping significantly. It's already going down. We're down to about halfway. Uh, Coke ovens are doing about as good best they can. Uh, if... If I try to get a couple more of them going, then it's going to have to end up being... Um, hmm. What am I saying here? Oh yeah, a separate separate bamboo line, because I don't think that's going to handle another row or two. But anyways, I think it's a good place to call it here. I'm going to try to see what we can do to rectify this situation for the next episode. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Later.